So fulfirinox can be a difficult regimen to tolerate, although in my practice I've found that uh, as we get more experience with using fulfirinox, we're able to get most patients through it pretty well. Fulfirinox can certainly cause typical chemotherapy side effects such as nausea and vomiting, although the vomiting doesn't tend to be a big problem. And in fact, I tell my patients if they've gotten to the point that they're actually vomiting, uh, not just nauseous, then we need to do more to improve their anti-nausea regimen. Patients are nauseous and usually for about two or three days out of every two weeks, certainly not the entire two weeks. The other big side effect to watch out for is diarrhea. The diarrhea tends to hit around day five or six, and that's actually fairly predictable and does respond to over-the-counter medications such as Imodium AD, but again, there are more supportive medications, more antidiarrheal medications we can add if the diarrhea becomes a real problem. Less common side effects and those that are usually responsive to adjusting the dose of the chemotherapy are things like mouth sores, uh, significant fatigue. It can cause, in some cases, uh, troubles with the hands and the feet. And then over time, there are some other side effects that certainly will develop. The oxaloplatin invariably will cause neuro neurotoxicity, and there's two kinds of neurotoxicity. One is an immediate sensitivity to cold, where from the time of the first infusion, the patient will be very, very sensitive to ice cold uh, drinks or touching the freezer or things like that. And we recommend that they hold off from ice cold drinks for about two or three days. That usually goes away after two, three days, and the second week of the two weeks is usually tolerable. But over time, usually over about four to six treatments with the oxaloplatin, there's a second kind of neuro neurotoxicity called numbness and tingling or paresthesias that can really start to develop. And if it's not watched very closely, it can really become a long-term problem. So your oncologist should really talk to you almost every time he, see or see, he or she sees you to see if you're developing significant numbness and tingling type of neurotoxicity. Finally, there's things like hair loss, which unfortunately does happen in most patients with irinotecan and uh, a significant effects on the blood counts, which is why we often give that shot, which is called Neupogen or Neulasta, on the fourth day of the treatment.